Microphone. I think you need to turn on your microphone. Just push Sorry button. for that. I appreciate that. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman Fletcher, and, and Mr. Griff. And on behalf of Governor Wanda Vasquez and Mr. Elmer Chavez, who is the head of the Puerto Rico Resiliency Reconstruction and, Re and Resiliency Center, from now on, Court 3, and myself, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to appear here before you today. I would also like to thank uh, Governor Vasquez for the trust she has placed in all of us and her team, and especially for the outstanding leadership we seek in our, uh, she has put on for our recovery forward. So last but not least, I would like to recognize the commitment and effort of my coworkers at the Puerto Rico Department of Housing, the Court 3, and the Government of Puerto Rico in general. Also our partners at HUD and FEMA, who have worked tirelessly for all the Puerto Ricans. As you're all aware, in September 2017, the devastating landfall of hurricanes Irma and Maria caused an unprecedented damage to Puerto Rico housing stock, the economy, and our infrastructure, destroying the landscape of the islands for decades to come. So from this devastation and due to the great work of this Congress and our resident commissioner, Gonzalez Colons, who I once again thank for all her uh, work, funds were appropriated, granting Puerto Rico the resources it needed uh, to recover itself from the devastation and a follow path to the economic development it deserved. Our governor's vision is for a successful recovery, replies on the synergies that the Core 3 and the Puerto Rico Department of Housing can create working alongside each other and a process, obviously, in this uh, complicated process. As former prosecutor and attorney general, Governor Vasquez has committed all to the most transparent recovery in the nation and to ensure that American taxpayers' dollars are properly used and compliant with every rule and regulation. Core 3 primary focus is to work alongside FEMA to responsibly manage the permanent reconstruction work and a stream of federal funding while the Department of Housing is the guarantee a main point of contact for HUD and manage the CDBGDR funding. First, I'll address the progress in the CBGDR programs. And as you're aware, this, the HUD is the federal oversight agency of these dollars and Congress has provided almost $20 billion in CDBG funding. Nonetheless, since the September 2017 appropriation, Congress made $1.5 billion that were available to Puerto Rico in February 2018. Unfortunately, we only have big access to that initial 1.5 and so far, and we're waiting for almost two years after these other critical funds have been appropriated. Importantly, to this day, we have obligated almost $1 billion and the response to our housing program has been predictively massive. We soon have applicants work through their eligibility process to exceed our initial $2.2 billion budget and the notion that we are spending $1.5 billion as slowly is simply inaccurate. Specifically, we're still waiting for the grant agreement for $8.2 billion of critical funding and we are also waiting for the $8.3 billion mitigation notice as well as the $1.9 billion for uh, electrical grid purposes. Again, Congress has appropriated these dollars, but so far the administration has been slow to provide the, the funding. Nonetheless, our priorities for these are actually that we have to execute that grant agreement of 8.2 billion that it was previously announced in our action plan. We have to initiate the program design for the $8.3 billion of mitigation, understanding that the development of a mitigation need assessment and the CBG mitigation action plans requires public participation and it takes time. And number three, we have to continue to close partnership with federal partners and increase our expenditure ratio to ensure the lines of communications remain open and collaboratively. Now, on behalf of Governor Vasquez and Osmar Chavez, the FEMA uh, paranoia in Puerto Rico is being like that. From the $42.8 billion that were appropriated, only $20 billion obligated, $14.1 billion disbursed in all the jurisdictions. From that, 8.4 have been obligated in Puerto Rico and 6.2 has been disbursed for PA and IA, nonetheless. Since Governor Vasquez came into, into uh, become at the governor's, we have been able to lift the removal of Form OMB 270 in 45 days, and the small projects that is under $123,000, we have been looking for mechanisms to expedite the same. At the same time, we are waiting communication from FEMA from the second version of the recovery policy implementation of Section 26 one of the BBA Act of 2018. This section will allow us in section 406 of the PI procedures to be easily and to work hard uh, easily through the uh, mainstream of recovery. From that thing, from the five sectors that we have developed into our priorities, three priorities are is to identify and mitigate areas of risk for the appropriate management and compliance of federal funds. We have a priority to identify bottlenecks in this process, and the third priority is to identify solutions to enable a much delayed recovery and a meaningful begin starting with the rollout of the grid modernization programs. We have made significant progress in these past 60 days and from those three uh, priorities that we developed. Nonetheless, since Harvey in 2017, permanent work or PWs, 
of 15,221 has been obligated or made in all jurisdictions, only 161 have been made in Puerto Rico. Let me say, Mr. Chairman, that despite our many challenges, our Puerto Rican fellow citizens and U.S. citizens are optimistic, are, we are determined, and our island, that is also your island, in the island of enchantment, is full of potential. So on behalf of the $3.2 million, uh, million dollars, I mean million Puerto Ricans, I'm sorry, that live in the island, we would like to thank you for this opportunity. Thanks. Thank you very much. Ms. Wiley? Thank you for that meeting. 